This quick video shows how you can enable parallel builds in Code Composer Studio. CCS has support for enabling parallel builds that can take advantage of dual and quad core PCs that are pretty common these days. Enabling this option can be beneficial when working with large projects that take a long time to build, as it could greatly speed up the compilation time. To enable the parallel builds, all you have to do is simply right click on a project, go to properties, select build, and then go to the behavior tab. And here you can see that you can just check this box to enable parallel builds. Here you have the option to select the number of parallel jobs. A good starting point here is to configure the number of jobs to be equal to the number of processors in your computer. And then from there on, you can try increasing the value further to see if you're able to achieve some further gains in the compilation speed. In some cases, though, setting the number of jobs to a value that is much higher than the number of processors in your computer or setting it to use unlimited jobs may result in the system using up more memory and becoming sluggish. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use um, the optimal number of parallel jobs. In this case, it's four jobs. And what I'm going to do is build this example because there's one other thing that I want to show as far as what the build output looks like um, when you enable parallel builds. So I'm going to go ahead now and building this project. And there it's finished building and I'm going to just expand this uh, build console view. And you can take a look over here and see that the output is a, a little bit more interleaved than you would expect if you did not have parallel builds enabled. So for example, over here, you can see it, it says it's building this first file, but before the banner and all of the information from the compiler um, regarding that particular file, it actually talks about building um, a series of other uh, source files as well. And then the, the banners um, are kind of stacked together over here. So it's a little bit more difficult to interpret and understand um, the output of the build console. Uh, but it's just something to be aware of. And you know, just so people know that enabling parallel builds, um, it is um, expected that the build output would look like this. So it's as simple as that. Pretty easy to go ahead and enable and use parallel builds. I hope that was helpful.